what's up how everybody doing i ain't talked to y'all in a couple days like five days i've been on vacation um anyway i thought about you guys let me introduce myself for i get into this y'all know i get excited and i forget sometimes i'm faye i am a life coach i'm your favorite hairstylist i'm here in kansas city right now but y'all know that home is in texas but i'll be in kansas city for a little while so hit me up if you need your hair done um, I'm also the founder of a group called Sisterhood Formed by Faith. You can join us by uh, going on Facebook, the Facebook groups, and searching Sisterhood Formed by Faith. We would love to have you. We support, empower, and motivate each other in any way that we can from a simple post to hanging out. That's how like real it is and simple it is to come be a part of um, what God is doing in this season with us in this group. All right, let's get into the message, honey. I just wanted to get on here and tell somebody because um, if you like me, we do care what people say. Um, and, and let's be real. It's, it's okay to care what people say, but I want you to understand you don't have to take in everything that somebody um, say. You can take it into consideration, let it go in one ear and out the other one, but you don't have to hold it. Like, hold them thoughts captive in your head you take them thoughts captive and you decide do these thoughts stay or do they go because ultimately at the end of the day you should be making the decisions that are best for you regardless of what the next person is going to say or what they're going to think or how they're going to feel if it does not affect you then you know you should be like oh well with it and really not to be rude or nothing like that you got to be true to you first so even if somebody don't like what you're doing or they don't care for what you're doing or they don't think that you're doing the right thing if it makes you happy if it's making you happy then you got to just go for what you know and do it regardless of what they gonna say because hey we know people gonna talk whether good or bad they still gonna have something to say so at the end of the day any decision that you make you need to look at it and say is this the decision that i want to make for me why am i making this decision why is this decision best for me and however if you feel like explaining that to somebody you can but if you do not then don't waste your time with it oh well how they feel who cares at the end of the day they don't lay with you at night they don't help you at night they don't you know know what you're going through they don't wipe your tears so do what makes you happy life is so short man and, and even me some days i get confused i get scared i get nervous i say god you know what is it that you would have me to do god um because that's the only person we should be trying to please and God sent Jesus here because he knew that we would make mistakes. He knew that we would fall short. So he sent his only son who had no sin to come and cover us. That's truly enough to just thank God. And I thank God no matter what it is that I'm going through. Because, y'all, I get on these videos and, you know, be a support and, and talk and all that. But even me sometimes, I have to look and say, you know what, God, don't don't leave me. Even if even if I leave you, God, even if it's a day, even if it's a moment, even if it's a second, I want to talk to some real people. I'm sorry. Today's the day I need to talk to some real people, some people that understand. I don't want to talk to nobody that got it all figured out, that just know everything that's, you know, really, really um, doing everything right. They don't got no room for mistakes. I want to talk to some real people like myself that make mistakes daily, that try to figure it out daily, that even when I set out a strict routine, a schedule, that some days it just does not go as planned. Can I talk to somebody that know what I'm talking about where your life just don't go as planned as what you thought would be going on? It, it didn't happen that way. Something totally different happened and you got to make the best out of it. Um, Y'all ever have to make the best out of a situation or a best um, out of a moment or just let me just take what I got and use this and, and see um, because oftentimes we think we should be so much further ahead we get to these ages and we say dang at this age I need to be this at this age I need to know this instead of just living and not just living like you waking up just living I'm talking about just doing whatever makes you happy if it ain't hurting nobody if it makes you happy I don't care you know, whether it used to hurt you, whether it used to, you know, take you to another place. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just saying, y'all, whatever you got to do to make you happy. I really want y'all to understand that you got to make you happy. At the end of the day, nobody's going to be in the dark place with you. Nobody's going to be miserable with you. So and when you come out of that, like I went through a stage of loneliness, 
misery, depression. I went through that stage and having to pick myself up with the help of God, honey, his, his grace and his mercy and his hand that was on my life, that's on my life. Because like I say in all my videos, I'm not perfect. Stuff still happens in my life. I still go through stuff daily. But you know what? Even I have to sit back in the midst of me being angry or upset with things not working out my way. I have to sit back and say, you know what, God, you are still God. You always going to be God. And I can only be me. And, and one person we can't hide stuff from is God because he knows our heart, man. He knows our heart. That's why it's imperative that you pray on everything and just pray and pray and pray and pray. Even when you don't know what else to do, what else to say, when you don't have no answer, just pray, honey. I'm telling you, just say a, a quick prayer or, God, I need your help. I need you to take over this situation because I don't know. And, and it's okay not to know. Who are we to have everything all figured out? Why would we need God if we had everything all figured out? I can admit, I don't have everything figured out. I just go with the flow and, and say a little prayer. God, if, if it's meant for this to go on or if it's meant for me to do this, God, if it's meant for me to be here, if it's meant for me to be there, God, then, then I'm just doing it, God. But ultimately, God, your hands is on it, God. So whatever you need me to see, whatever you need to reveal to me, God, I need you to reveal it to me because some things I cannot see, some things I only can seek god for understanding on and, and i say that y'all and, and i mean it because e anytime it's something that i try to figure out by myself with my hands on it it don't look I, i'm not see all and know all but he is and i can't figure everything out so i cannot rely on my own understanding but on his and if you got to keep bumping your head and, and, and god will let you keep bumping your head so keep bumping your head if you got to but knowing that he's never going to leave nor forsake you <laughs> and, and y'all i had to close my eyes because it, i felt it man and y'all know i start crying i'm not trying to you know cry my little makeup off i look cute today um but just knowing that Boy, even when I go astray sometimes, God is still with me and he still loves me. And, and you know, he, he lets it be known, honey. Um, that's the good thing. And I tell you, I make mistakes daily. I, I probably do the wrong thing a million and one times and be saying, God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. And some people will be like, you know, well, you can't be just saying sorry. You can tell God sorry. God know you human. You can just say, God, I'm sorry for making that mistake, God. Um, I need you. I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all see me looking. I'm getting messages in. I need you, God, because I don't know about nobody else. I cannot make it like in my own strength, in my own understanding, man. I can't. I try. Y'all, I try sometimes, but God is so good that he don't even let you. If you allow him to come into your life, then he will provide clues and, oh, excuse me, y'all, clues and understanding and, and just letting you know that he's still with you. He's still with you, even when we try to go astray. And I can only speak for myself, because some days I do be going astray. I'll be like, look now, God, but he come at me and be like, look now for Shonda. I'm the boss, and you know, I got to let him be the boss, and I just want to get on here and tell y'all, nobody's perfect. You don't have to try to be perfect. Don't even try to be perfect. Don't even think about perfect, because you're never going to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfect, and, and we good at making stuff look good. You know, we can make it seem perfect, make it look perfect, but I'm here to tell you honestly, like on a real tip, that I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We never going to be perfect, but you are worth it. And I want you to know that you are worth it because God sent you here. He wakes you up every day. He gave you a post, man. That's, that's showing you right there. That's a sign. You might not be worth it to other people, but as long as you worth it to him, you're going to be blessed no matter where you at or what you're doing. You're going to be blessed as long as you stay focused on God. Man, it's situations that I couldn't find myself getting out of, but I said, God, get in them with me. And that's one thing. That's how you know we got a good God. He said, I will get down in the fire with you, baby. If I have to carry you, I will carry you through the fire. I love God. I love him for that. To say, I will get down in that mess with you. If, it, if it's that bad for you, and, and let me tell y'all something. He did it for me once. He did it for me time after time after time. So I know he'll do it again. And again, as, as long as he have to, but I, but I have to be openly saying, God, I seek you. God, I need you. No matter what, God, if, if I go astray, God, can you pull me back in? Can you will me back in? because I've been a lot of places. I didn't win a lot of places, God, but I can't go nowhere that you don't want me to be. I can't stay nowhere that you don't want me to be, God. So I, I continue to ask him to show and reveal, God. Never let me go. Even when 
God, try to let you go, oh God. Pull me back in, oh God. Even if I'm on vacation, having a good time, oh God, you will never let me go too far astray. You know why? Because his hands is on my life. And as long as his hands is on my life, it don't matter who else hands is on it. It don't matter who else looking at me. It don't matter who else talking about me. As long as God is for me, who could be against me, baby? And that's how I live my life. As long as God is for me, then who could ever be against me? If God is for me, say it out loud however many times that you need. If God is for me, then who could be against me? No matter what I'm going through, no matter where I'm at. If God is for me, who could be against me? He brung me through before. He'll bring me through again. And you just got to stand up because sometimes we get ourselves in a mess. And God said, I can get you out of something that I put you in, baby. But if I have to get you out of something that you put yourself in, then it ain't going to be easy. And he never promised that it was, wasn't going to be easy. But he said he'll never leave nor forsake us. He said, don't give up now. He didn't bring me this far to give up now. And I won't give up now. I don't care where I'm at or what I'm doing. I won't give up, God. And I won't not just give up on me. I won't give up on you, God. Because I know you promised me some things, God. And I need them promises to come true. I need to see them promises down here on earth. You said whatever we bond and loose down here, God, that it's loose up there. Oh, God, I need some things loosened to me, God. I need some things to come into me, God. I need your favor like never before, oh, God. And, and that's really what you got to stand on, man. You got to just say it. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you can't get out of, no matter what you can't see, he can see. He is see all and a know all type of God, baby. He ain't got to be forced. You ain't got to force this thing. God said, I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to show up and show out in your life like never before. If you seek me, you ain't got to worry about nothing else because everything else should be applied unto you. Don't let people tell you because you made a bad decision, because you made a bad choice that God ain't going to show up for you. God going to show up for you time after time after time again, baby, till he's tired of showing up for you. And when he can't show up for you no more, you'll be with him in his face, honey. And nobody can tell you what's going to happen when you get up there. Be you know why? Because ain't none of us that's down here been there yet. So as long as it's in your heart, you go for what you know, baby. Even with these videos, take it to God. You go for what you know. You do what makes you happy. You say what makes you happy. You love who makes you happy. If it makes you happy, then you do it. No matter what you're going through or what, you got to allow God to come in for the stuff that you have no control over. Let God come in and show up and show out. Because one thing about God, he will show up and he will do some things. Even if it hurts you, baby, even if it almost breaks you, God said, I'm going to grace gracefully break, broke, break you. You're going to be gracefully broken. It's not going to be the type of broken where you can't get back up. God said, I have to break some things up off of you. I have to break that situation off of you just to show you what it is. You want closure? I'm going to give you closure. You can't leave? I'm going to pull you out of it because he's the type of God to do it, man. God's the type of God that will do it. If you don't want to give up, if, I mean, if you want to give up, if you can't go on, but you're seeking him and you calling on him, he ain't going to let you give up. He ain't going to let you go out like that. It, it's some people that then left me for dead that would say, you know what? She was dumb. She was stupid. I give up on her. But God said, I'll never give up on you for Shonda. I'll never give up on you. You can't go too far that I cannot reach you. God said, my arms ain't too short that I cannot reach you. And if it's anything that you love or you want that bad, then you pray on it. Because don't let people limit God and say, God, he can make this better. He can make this better. But God can't do this. God is a big God, baby. My God is omega. No matter what it is, if you pray on it, God's going to work in it. And even if it don't work out in your favor, it's going to work out in his, baby. It's going to work out in his will. And as long as he's there to comfort, support, and provide for me, I don't care who's against what I got going on. My God is big. It's nothing that he can't work out, baby. And he don't sit up too high that he can't come low and get down in the fire with you. That he won't come and save you because you are his. You are chosen. And, and if God really wants you, then he's going to come and get you. you can't I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what happened. The video cut out. But again, God is not the type of God that he won't get in the mess with you. If you call on him and you seek him, he's going to come to our rescue time after time after time, baby. So he's tired of coming to your rescue. Don't think that God's going to give up on you. And I only know from experience, some days I say, God left me. You know, God don't care about me. Oh my God, I made that mistake. Do God still love me? And God said, ain't nothing that you do that's going to make me turn my back on you. If anything, we turn our backs on him. But God said, I'm going to be with you. Whenever you need me, I will be there for you. When you ain't got nobody else, I will be there for you. And y'all, 
I listen to God and I know, and you got to talk to God for yourself so he can give you clear on, on understanding on whatever it is that you need understanding on. But God is not a small God. He can turn some things around. If you pray on it and you believe that God will fix it and God will work it out, I believe that he will, baby. Don't let the enemy tell you different. Don't let nobody tell you that you made that mistake and God won't come into your life. God can't help you. God won't fix it because he will. That's why he's God. That's why he sent his only son because he knew that we would make mistakes baby and that don't mean purposely make mistakes to tempt him and see what he's going to do baby but go for your heart go for what you know and pray on it and, and if it's something that you cannot get through you gotta seek god that's that's one thing you gotta just seek god and pray that's all i can tell you i can't give nobody the answer some days i can't give myself the answer i have to pray man and pray and just know that it's in God's control and he brung me through before why would he not bring me through again and again and again if he need to because his purpose must be fulfilled and it's something about purpose that you can run from a lot of things but you cannot run from purpose and a calling on your life no matter where you at and what you doing it's going to find you here I am on vacation trying to have a good time and chill and it's still I can feel a nudge when it's time for me to get back doing what I'm supposed to be doing so I say vacation or no matter what, I'm going to get on here and do whatever God would allow me to do, man. Um, and again, I'm not perfect. So if you watch me because you think I'm perfect, if you judge me because you think I'm perfect, then you got it wrong because I'm the first to admit that I'm not perfect. I go through everything that everybody else go through. The only difference my, we might have is my calling on God. And, and that's not even a difference. You just ain't even at your full capacity yet where you could be but i'm telling you that's why i do these videos to push you to be wherever god needs you to be not being perfect not you gotta wait till you get in the perfect this or the perfect that and then oh my god everything's gonna be so perfect because it's not you still gonna have trials and tribulations and you still gonna have times that you gotta call on god like never before you still might be so deep in the hole that you need god to come and get you time after time after time and you can get tired of calling on everybody else but don't get tired of calling on the name of jesus because that's going to be the only name that can get you through, man. That's going to be the only way you can get your peace and your peace of mind and your happiness no matter what's going on around you because it's been some stuff, man, that should have broke me down to the ground. But I say, God, you know, show me how strong I really am, God. I just want to be strong. I want to be so strong in you, so full of you that they can punch me and, and try to tear me down but not even knowing who I worship, who has his hands over my life. My God has resurrection powers and if he got to bring me back to life, 20,000 times he will until he tired till he say enough is enough and I'm okay with that y'all I'm truly okay with it and and I don't want to go nowhere no time soon so you know forbid that anything happened but God if it's your will and your way then I say God have your will and your way because my will and my way baby ain't no telling where I will be ain't no telling where my train of thought will be but just to have my peace of mind and not every day I don't wake up with a peace of mind I'm telling you it's a fight every day I fight every day for my peace of mind I fight every day for my strength I fight every day for my mental health I fight every day for my physical health I fight every day for my relationship with God but if God is for me then who could be against me if i'm praying to god then he's going to show up like never before and if it's something that's trying to have its way between me and god then god's going to break it away he's going to pull me away time at the time at the time again because he will my god is faithful my god is good and if anybody else give up on me if anybody else judge me then i know that god is for me he sent his only son for me and my mistakes and you and your mistakes so call on the name of jesus when don't nobody else understand what you're going through when don't nobody else know what you got going on, when can't nobody else figure out why you're doing this or why you're saying this, you say, if God is for me, then who could be against me, baby? Because my God is good to me, and you might not want to get in the fire with me, but my God said, I will get in that fire with you, and I will carry you up out the fire if I got to, baby. If it's just me and you, God said, I will still show up and do it for you. God, I need you to show up and do it for us, and never stop showing up to do it for us, oh God, no matter who turned they back on us no matter who don't understand no matter who call a stupid dumb deaf and crazy god if you are for me then who could be against me god if you are for me then who words could tear me down if you are for me god ain't nothing that i can't go through on this earth without knowing that your hands is on it baby and god will take them all down one by one he said touch not my anointed one and do my prophet no harm and i believe that god's not gonna let nothing happen to me if anything he'll remove you and 
can take you away, baby. And if he get that deep, then he just might take me with him. I don't know and I cannot say, but I know that it's in God's hand. And that's how I can rest peacefully at night, knowing that it's in God's hand. Knowing that if I, no matter how bad it is, no matter how bad your situation is, let, let me let me speak some stuff to you, baby. And I know it then got dark, so I'm going to exit out this video, y'all. But let me tell y'all something. In the car or no matter where we at, I'm going to do this thing real and for real, for real. Because I don't know how to be nothing else. I'm so deep in this thing. I don't know how to be nothing else. I try to listen to some music and dance, a little dance, and it don't last long. God say, enough is enough. It's time for my purpose to be fulfilled. Yeah, you on vacation, have a good time. But my purpose still must be fulfilled, God. And I do and say whatever you have me to do and say, oh, God. I never give up on you, oh, God. I never give up on you. I don't care how mad or angry I get, how confused I get, how sometimes I say, God, why you didn't let that happen for me? Oh, God, I got to understand that is not my understanding, but yours. That is not my way, but yours. Oh, God, let me tell y'all something. No matter how bad your situation is, you pray to God, man. You pray to God. You pray to God. You pray to God. If you want to stay in your relationship, can't nobody tell you nothing. You pray to God because only you can handle what you can handle. Only you can take what you can take. You just got to know that it's God's hand is on it, man, because you got to place it in his hands. And when you place it in his hands you gotta let go and say god i tried to do it god i'm not strong enough god i can't figure it out and god said that's why i'm god let me do it for you let me do it for you and if it's something that hurts you then you gotta understand you you put it in god's hands so you wasn't willing to walk away so if god gotta pull you away then so be it baby but let me tell you something about placing in god's hands place your kids in God's hands, place the relationship in God's hands, place the car you want in God's hands, place your mind in God's hands, place your family in God's hands. You ain't got to give up on nothing. You don't want to give up on y'all. And, and let me tell y'all, because I got to be real. And I know so many people try to tell us what we should and shouldn't be doing. Go for what you know, baby, and get somebody who's going to be in your corner to support you. Granted, they might say, don't do this, don't do that, but make your own decision, but never take God out of it. Don't take God out of it. You you can let anybody say what they want to, but don't take God out of it. Just knowing that you and God are in it, forget what folks say, because everybody going to make their own decisions and do what they want to do. But you say true to you and do whatever makes you happy and trust what you got going on, but still seek your understanding and your support system. But make sure it's some people that's going to ride for you. They might And, and not that you're going to like everything that they say, but just going to be there for you. Even if you make a mistake, you don't need people calling you stupid dumb or crazy because you won't know until you see i feel you you know what i'm saying i feel that on a whole nother level a lot of people might not feel it but i feel it on another level baby and if you ain't ready to give up yet don't give up no matter what it is if you ain't ready to leave that job you ain't got to if you if you ready to get a new car then get it just do it and and, and really just do whatever makes you happy and doing what makes you happy ain't gonna make everybody else happy they ain't gonna understand it that's why you can't even seek validation for them you can't even seek understanding for them you can't even expect everybody to understand what you're going through why are you still in this why are you doing this it's not for you to understand i can't make you understand it's just for me i gotta do it for me i gotta see for me i gotta figure this thing out for me but knowing that god will never leave nor forsake me and that his hands gonna continuously be over my life and that i'm still favored that i'm still anointed that no matter what he's for me so who could be against me who could be against what i got going on my god is not too small that he can't turn things around i believe that god can turn some things around i believe that if god just get his hands on it he can make some things right he can do this thing exactly how he wanted it to do see it might not have been in our plans but god said i'm gonna show you what i can do with your mess i'm gonna show you how i can make a miracle out your mess god said when you ain't got nothing baby that's when i'm up to something baby when you feel like you ain't got nothing god say i'm up to something i'm figuring this thing out i knew you wouldn't be able to figure it out but the fact that you called on me i'm gonna show you who can figure it out my God is not too small, baby. He ain't too small. He's a big guy, way outside the limits, way outside of our understanding. So us on earth try to figure him out. We get a little clue, but baby, you don't know God. You ain't been face to face with him for real. Can't a preacher, can't a church, can't nobody tell you nothing about God. You got to get a relationship with God and just trust God. Trust God in everything that you're going through. Trust God in all the craziness, man. If you just trust God, it's just something about trusting God. When you, when you get that relationship with God, when you get a little feel of God, then you just, you look, people can tell you all type of stuff. People can just tell you all type of stuff. Read your Bible, get your own understanding and just pray. Just pray. Just pray.
pray, y'all. And that's that's the the end of my rant. But I really just want you to understand. And, and it's really the end, y'all, because y'all know I will go on and on. But just pray, just pray, just pray, and, and ask God to comfort your heart because it gets hard out here, man. Life stuff will tear you down. It will tear you down. But God will give you this strength. Some days I don't even know where my strength come from. Stuff that I thought would have broke me down to the ground, man. And I just say, God, only you know the plans you have for me. Plans to prosper me and not to harm me. Plans to give me hope in a future. In a life that I will have it more abundantly. Man. Woo. I don't care who break their promises. As long as God never break his promise. You got to expect men. Not men. But like one man. Men. Everything on this earth. To break their promises. Might break your heart. But just knowing that. If God is for me. Who could be against me? If you hurt me, God won't. If you leave me, God won't. If I got to leave you, then God won't leave me. You know what I'm saying? If it's just me and God, because and once you've been on that level where it's just been you and God, you will have a different type of peace about everything. Like, man, it's, it's really a blessing. Get with me, y'all. Let's talk about it. Y'all know I'm a life coach. Again, Faye's Prophecy. Get on one of my social medias at Perfected by Faye on every site. Hook up with me. Let's talk. I'm not judgmental. You know why? Because I didn't did a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of crazy stuff. A whole lot of weird stuff. People didn't call me stupid, dumb, and all type of stuff. Baby, been there before. Been there, done that. Okay? And um, I will really talk it out with you. Talk it out. I will pray with you. We will figure it out together. Because, again, I don't have all the answers. But just having that support, man, it helps. Um, shout out to my support system. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing I'ma judge you on because when I tell you I done been to the bottom of the bottoms and a lot of stuff people don't know about me and let's keep it that way. But get with me and let's let's talk about it. I love to talk, I love to pray. I love just knowing that I'm not perfect and it's people like me that's going to admit that they not perfect, but we strive every day to do our best and just love and show up in the world as our true selves. Um, so let's continue to just show as our true selves. If y'all would like to do these car chronicles, you know, maybe once a night. Like, what if we did them every night? Let me know in the comments if you want to do these car chronicles every night. I know it's getting a little dark, so maybe I'll figure something out about the lighting. But if you guys just want to meet every night around this time, 8, and just have car chronicles, I'm with it. Let's just talk. Anyway, hook up with me. Phase Prophecy, book you a free call your first call free let's meet greet talk to each other um uh, my Kansas city ladies i am in town for a little while let's really link and talk and eat and just have a great time y'all remember to subscribe share this video with somebody and encourage somebody to add my channel when i say we got some awesome things in store y'all um all of us not just me it's a journey for all of us god is intentional you would not be on this video for nothing i would not even got up to make this video i've been at the shop all day running around all day yes in kansas city i got an area where i can go work at too hallelujah thank you god um he always got a way you know what i'm saying um anyway let's talk let's talk like some true girl talk for real for real like i'm a woman i know baby i ain't gonna call you deaf dumb or stupid because if i said that to you i have to turn three fingers back to myself and, and point the finger honey still to this day just walking and, and trying to figure out what is god's plan and purpose for my life that's all we can do until we get there and i, and I believe that we gonna know when we get there okay in the name of jesus i love you all so much and so does god when the world give up on us, he will not. He'll still be there. Because before we are anybody's on this earth, our parents, grandparents, man, woman, whatever. God, we are his, his chosen ones, handpicked. Many are picked, but only a few are chosen. So not only was we handpicked, baby, we was the chosen ones, the divine ones, honey. He said peculiar people, baby. Shout out to God, honey. Um, anyway, get with me. Let's talk about it again. I love y'all, and so does God. I'll see you guys in the next video.